Because that's what it is, right? You, you see the bread and the wine as something not exactly bread and wine. That there's, there's a difference to the bread and the wine in the Lord's Supper. Oh, that's very good. That's I like that. Um, so, read 28. Come, that person examine himself, and then and so eat of the bread and drink of the cup. All right, and 29. For anyone who eats and drinks without discerning the body, eats and drinks judgment of all himself. All right, so if you eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ, the blood of Christ, you eat and drink judgment on yourself. Um, it's not a good thing. And what are the see? This is that Rome, that Corinthians passage again. What are the Rome, or no? What are the Corinthian Christians doing? They're eating bread and wine, and they're not discerning that there's anything special about it, right? They're getting drunk. They're hoarding the food, right? They they don't discern that there's anything important or different about the Lord's Supper. And Paul says you're eating and drinking judgment on yourself because this is a big spiritual problem in your life. So, what fills in the blanks? When we receive, oh, goodness gracious, when we receive the Lord's Supper, we receive the, body. the true body and true blood, true blood of Jesus. The, the word true is important there. We receive the true body and the true blood of Jesus. Letter E. How do we know that we receive his true body and blood? The Bible, God says so. The Bible says so. Do say so. Be more specific. Jesus says so. Jesus says so. That's exactly correct. Okay. Jesus says so. <clears throat> That's number one. <clears throat> number two, 1 Corinthians 10 16. <clears throat> we cannot use the words from 1 Corinthians 10 16. We cannot partake. Participate. In something that is not present. present. We cannot participate in something that is not present. And 1 Corinthians 11, 27 to 29, we cannot blank again. Starts with an S. Sin. sin. We cannot sin against the body of Jesus unless it is present. present. Otherwise, otherwise, you're just eating bread and drinking wine. How how are you sinning if you eat, eat bread and drink wine? Paul's absolutely wrong. If it's just bread and wine, Paul's off his rocker because they can't be sinning against the body of Jesus if it's not present. Does that make sense? This is this is the huge. These two verses are the huge reason that ninety percent of Christians worldwide recognize that Jesus is truly present in the sacrament of the altar, in the Lord's Supper, in Holy Communion. In the Holy Eucharist, right? It, it, it's the reason. Jesus has to be there according to the testimony of Paul. You can't sin against his body if he's not present. You sin against the bread. What the heck is sinning against the bread? You can't sin against bread. Letting it mold. Uh, right? I, I, I guess, right? Something like that. But, but, but right, that, that wouldn't be sin. So, yeah. So Lutherans call this teaching the teaching of the... Remember, remember, remember from last year, remember from your communion class. What do we call this? I was just going to say, I mean, yeast is alive. Though. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, you say really brilliant things, and then you digress just like Joel does. <laughs> Golly. All right, digress. Go off the path. Oh. Yeah. Digress. Digress means to go off the path badly. Like, like really. Like really off? Really off the path. Right, digress is just really, right, why don't you just say go off the path? Well, because digress <laughs> means more, right? Digress means to go off really badly. Why don't you just say go off the path really badly? Because words are good, learn words. <laughs> Crying out loud, read a book. Me too. I, like, I, I know, I know, you read. Um, all right, so we call this teaching the real presence. The real presence. Remember that? Yeah. No. And, yes. and the blanks are uh, that that is Jesus is truly, physically, P-H-Y-S-I-C-A-L-L-Y, physically, not F. Thank you. Please, you're welcome. <laughs> Truly, physically present in the bread and the wine at the Lord's Supper. And we already did G. 
G is E number two. G, you, you can't participate in something that's not present. Wow, that's kind of redundant. All right, we pick up with H after spring break. Peace, safe travels if you're going anywhere. We will catch up again.